these mountains today are first for us so you're discovering them as we do we lured her under false pretenses of biscuits and tea this, this is, is high, high style that we can't stall any longer let's go i think cat wants to kill me at this point the early bird catches the car parking space and that will be our highest point of today Whoa. <laughs> this was alfred wainwright's favorite mountain my turn next let's go Alfred Wainwright, fell walker, guide, book author and illustrator who loved this valley. Lift your eyes to Haystacks, his favourite place. She's just, it's just through that window, look. Yes, he had his um, ashes scattered up on Haystacks. The Innate Tarn. Yeah. There you go. And that's Haystacks there, that central pane. Hi. This is Kerry. And this is Kat. And, and we, we are tea in Valhalla. Valhalla. You join us today in Cumbria, the Lake District. Yes, we're in the Buttermere Valley. Buttermere itself, the village named after the Viking Ruther, who killed many Anglo-Saxons on these fells. And we're gonna do a classic fell walk today, taking in Red Pike, yeah. High Style, yeah. and High Crag. Because we may pop up haystacks as yes. well. Look at this for a morning. And it is burning off really nicely as well. There's a touch of cloud, but it's burning off. So we parked at the crossroads um, in Buttermere. Free little parking space. It's one of those car parks that get full really quick, so you have to get there early. So our path started via the farmyard. Um, you just walk through that, um, make sure you close all the gates on the way. And then you start taking the path around Buttermere itself. It's called the shoreline path. And you just head really for the waterfall, you can't miss it. Sour milk gill, you won't miss it there. Look at this. Mm. We are heading up to the tarn, so you don't take the two lower paths, you take the rocky steps. Yes. And you come out the gate over the bridge. We're not far in, still coming up this really quite well-defined, well-made stone path. But it's just so beautiful in here. It's a really old woodland. You've got some deciduous, some plantation woodland, and you are continually in earshot of the waterfall. You can just hear it tumbling down the mountain. It is a spectacular path to start this climb. So we've just coming up, up out of the forest now, picked up this lovely stony steppy path, starting to get the views back down over Buttermere. Beautiful. That's Grassmoor over my shoulder. I don't know if I mentioned it, but you start on the east side of Buttermere. The east side of I Buttermere. I, I think I just said this side. Okay. Don't forget all the information for today's walk will be down in the description box. Cat will uh, pop. Some mug will do it. Cat will do that for us all. So be sure please to tick all that like button. It is appreciated. Thank you very much. Come out of those woods, boom. The whole valley is here, the whole Buttermere Valley. It's lovely. Now, uh... <laughs> oh, I feel a drop of rain. Sorry. 
So there is a bit of scrambling involved with this route that we're currently on. Um, Kat hasn't told me too much about it. She does think I'm capable and that we're safe and prepared to do it. So I trust. In the booby we trust. Well, I was surprised you wouldn't come if I told you it was really like. <laughs> Been lured here under false pretenses of biscuits and tea. Look at all those young bilberry bushes. Yes, just starting to sort of pop out all the little young leaves and shoots. Yeah. See lots on the way up. That'll be a food supply for many a mountain bird. <laughs> We're just bringing you up this path now towards Bleabury Tarn. Yes. Uh, and that'll be the first sort of proper juncture for us to possibly stop, catch our breath. Yeah, you want a cup of tea? Or Maybe something? have a cup of tea. Um, we're around 400 meters at this point, I think. Yes, about that. So we just come up like the zigzag, and now we're slightly well, it's still going upwards, but it's slightly flatter, yeah. and then it should go straight to the tarn. Yeah, there. it's leveled out a little bit yeah. here, giving us a chance to catch breath, mop brows, and admire the views. So as we twist and turn away around this mountain path up towards Bleaberry Tarn, we've now come back alongside the amazing Sour Milk Gill. It's lovely, isn't it? Breathtaking, beautiful, yeah. streams of white trickling down the side of the mountain. You see the V, it's cut into the mountain. Yeah, well. this huge chasm yeah. next to us here. Beautiful. Yeah. Other than haystacks, all of the Wainwrights we've bagged today will be new for us. So that's always good. We might even nip across to Dodd and claim that summit while we're here as well. Be rude not to really, wouldn't it? Wow, wow. So we see this, we're in the little bowl at the moment and we can just see people up there. So we're looking east and that's a path going up there, two little peeps there. And that's the way we'll be going up. And the red, uh, the red scree of red pike up there, which gives it its name, is what we'll have to climb up when we get up there. Hopefully that cloud would have burnt itself off because it'd be very nice to get some good views. Here's the beginning of Milk Gill here. And it's running out of Bleabury Tarn. So, which is just over this little lump. Let's go and have a gander at it. I wonder whether Bleabury Tarn has got anything to do with bilberries. So if you do know, please leave a comment down below. Oh, look. Oh. There is something so magical about these little tucked away tarns. Wow. They look perfect. So what do you think? A cup of tea on, on the... Oh, tea and food. I'm starving already. Have a little change of our layers. Yeah, I think I need to put a jacket on. It's a little bit drippy. Still quite windy as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's here. Got a tiny cookie? Look at him. I would love a tiny cookie, thank you. So we've just dropped for our cup of tea and uh, recharge before our climb up the scree there. Yeah, it looks horrible. Beautiful little time, very windy, very cold here actually. So we've, we've got our jackets back on and now we're on to the miniature cookies for oh. the cues. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 Skull. Skull. From the Lake District. Just finished our tea, snack and uh, cookie stop and we're heading up the scree path now. Very clear, very well defined just in front of us as we showed you from our uh, Café de Bliton. It's rather windy at the moment and it is trying to rain currently as well which is uh, not ideal but it is uh, mountain weather, it's what, what you expect, isn't it, when you come up? Oh yeah, Hi. hopefully, because it is, oh yeah, it's really raining over there, look. Yeah. But hopefully, because it is quite windy, it might just blow over. Yeah. Before we head up the scree, um, onto Red Pike, we thought we'd do this little mountain behind us called Dodd. Um, and it's a wane, right? So we thought we might as well whip down and grab it quickly, and then we'll head up the scree. And the path is very easy looking, see, whoop, carved in. So it's not, it's nothing um, particularly additional. But as we're here, it's we very rude to say no. Pop it in our pockets and bag the sneaky little Wainwright. Mm. At 
641 metres, this, this is Dodd. Dodd. Our first Wainwright since 2019. It is. And in fact, all these mountains today are first for us. So you're discovering them as we do. Other than Wayne, uh, haystacks, if we do haystacks. If we do haystacks. We have done haystacks before. Beautiful. Look at these views. It's lush. Have a little look over there. Just kissing our next summit, right? Let's keep moving. It's awful stuff. You've got to go up there. Come on. <laughs> trying to pull you back this, but it's not too bad, it's very and, steady. Yes it is, and over there I'm starting to see some sunshine being blown in. Greatly looking forward to it. So that's the scree scramble done, bit of a different scramble. Very loose, very slippery, quite technical. You've got to, again, pick your steps, watch where you put in your hands, three points of contact, and try to remember to breathe. That helps too. Here we are, I think now, reaching the summit of Red Pike. At 755 meters, meters. this, this is, is Red Pike. Pike. And we're very lucky, the views have just opened up. Perfect timing. Look at this. Look at this. Absolutely breathtaking. So our starting point now is starting to resemble more of a speck. Looking over Ennardale Water. Yes. Stunning. Another, Beautiful. Another one of the iconic Lake District lakes. It's actually quite um, a quiet area as well. So if you're ever wanting yeah. quiet walks, Ennardale yeah. Water and the, the smaller mountains around it, yeah. actually really nice for quieter places. So in a minute we'll head off, down and then back up. That's the Oxford and Cambridge buttress there, that lovely dark rock. Um, up to our highest point today, which will be high style. You can just see the top. The cloud there. clearing. Yeah, cloud is clearing. Yeah, as we look out to the Irish Sea, we can hopefully see the end of the cloud and we're, we're thinking and hoping and praying that's going to go over our heads. So we're just going to take a, a moment up here, get some photos. There's a lovely little storm shelter. So if you wanted to catch your breath, take five, have a cup of tea, you could. The views were so good here, we decided to have a sit down and a cup of tea, and I've got an hat on. Things have changed. Yeah, there was a hot cross bun. They were, oh my God, it was so good. Really good. Um, yeah, and, uh, no, you've twisted it again. Oh no. Terry, you've got no. to stop panicking. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're getting off. It's clearing up lovely now, isn't it? It is, yeah. And dare I say it, the sun is putting his hat on and he's coming out to play. <laughs> the path ahead now clear as day up to high style and onwards my hat tried to escape me so i've gone glasses but look at this little dod this morning look at that scree slope now we're heading up there <laughs> looks like the clouds have lifted lovely now so no worries hopefully great very clear easy to follow path admittedly we're on a, a good visibility day at the moment but even if you weren't there's lots of cairns evenly spaced out along the route so keep you guided stop you getting too close to the edge and uh, point you in the right direction so 
So we got to our car park relatively early this morning, knowing that the Butterdale Buttermere, knowing that Buttermere is a very, I don't know what Butterdale is, I think I've just combined two iconic Lake District sites there to make my own very new one. Butterdale, sorry. I can't believe it's not Butterdale. But the car park is full and there are indeed now people parking up the roadside. So again, the early bird catches the car parking space for free. Bet than worms if you ask me. Path just starting to get a little bit rocky. It was zigzagging our way up now towards the top of high style. Still following Cairns and the lovely marker sort of fence posts. Yeah, it's not they're not deliberately left in, I don't think, but no, old border markings aren't they? They work very well as a marker, yeah. At, At 806 meters, meters, this is, is high, high style. style. Lovely. Oh yes. That's a path up Scarfell, look. Yeah, on the far, far horizon, Scarfell Pike, and you can see the well-trodden path cutting its way at about noon as we're looking down there now. Spectacular. Uh, gable, great gable. Green gable just in the back, and just see the peak. So yeah, you can see the little gap in between green and great gable, can't you? Fantastic, I'm absolutely loving it this morning. Hope you're enjoying sharing with you today. It's pretty spectacular. Look at these views. Look at Gable. Absolute king over there. In green. Scarfell in the background. We're heading towards High Crag now. Again, just enjoying the afternoon sun and the peace and quiet. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely perfect. Perfect. <laughs> absolutely, perfect. absolutely perfect. So we've just met a lovely couple that live locally now and they just told us that this is actually the geological top of High Style. So the one over there that we used is actually the Wainwright top. Only about a metre in it, but still, I love that and I like facts, as you know, I love a fact. So that's a good one. So this is the geological top here, only about a metre high, but good. Bingy bong. So Kerry, where are we off to now? We're off to High Crag. Yep, and that's just down there. See that over there? Lovely little spine, beautiful green spine that runs yeah. between the mountains. And that's High Crag over there. And that's where we're going to take you next. It is, we've got to drop down to go up. So you can't actually see a uh, haystack. No, haystacks is it. hidden by this yeah. great big mound. So as we drop down, leaving High Style behind us, it's quite a convergence point actually. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different routes, a lot there of different are. paths that will meet up there. and probably the most people we've seen all day. Lots of sandwich stops and uh, jackets uh, being exchanged and things up there. It's, uh, yeah, look at this again. Sorry, keep going on, but <laughs> blowing my mind this morning. Yeah, now, now this is all opened up. Yeah. So the route between the, the summits, which is down on this ridge now, nice and close to the, the ledge and you, there's enough space up here as well. If you're like me and a bit nervy, you can just come into the middle of the, the ridge. Or if you're a brave Dave, like Kat, you can uh, stick to the edge. This is the ridge that we're now on, as you can see, nice and wide. Leading us off towards High Crag.
Ooh. At, at 745, 745 meters, meters, this, this is, is High Crag. crag. Woo, looking down over haystacks, over the twin peaks of haystacks. Gorgeous. And we may see how we feel. Pop down there, climb up there. Christ. And say hello to tired thinking about that. Alfred Wainwright and his ashes. Lovely. But look at the gable from here. I know I keep talking about it, it's such a beautiful mountain, I think, with that little kiss in between. Yeah. So we're just going to leave High Crag now, and it's quite a sharp looking drop off over this side. Uh, so just take our time, work our way down here a minute, head off towards the wonderful haystacks. the advantage of having big legs come down <laughs> yes although the path is obvious by its huge amount of use usually about footfall it has um it is quite scree and you do have to be quite careful it would be difficult in bad weather i should think um but kerry's doing all right hey kerry yeah he's good yeah, he's fine he's fine but you can see it's very loose and very steep. So we've just come down off of High Crag. We worked our way down this left-hand side. But there still seems to be another path here, which we've just joined now at the base. We pick up the ridge between the next summits. Um, and then we go over here, and then it's called Scarth Gap between here and Haystack. um, Haystacks. It's called Scarth Gap. Did you know that? I didn't know that. There we go. It's my something new learnt for today. Scarth Gap. Onwards. See the path that zigzags up the side of haystacks and then people little tiny people up on the summit hello little tiny people up on the summit there is two summits twin peaks yes so uh yeah it's been some something else this is up there um with some of my favorite walks one of my favorite walks of all time i dare say just because of the different views both sides of the map say that about every walk you go on and he says it every single time guys don't bother using his thingy but this is a great walk no. this, the carry rating system is potentially flawed but yeah. great walk just uh come and have a look for yourself <laughs> we're now going to start to head up haystacks we know there's a, a few points of scrambly uh, uh, required. It's quite a sharp climb up, quite quickly. We should reach the summit, he says. Famous last words. The climb up haystacks is short, windy sections of stone steps, zigzags, interspliced with little sections of mini scrambles. It's interspliced. It's up, not right. That's an interesting word. <laughs> interspliced. So, turns out the mountain madness is setting in. Kerry's vocabulary is going crazy. Last little push of scrambling now, and yeah. hopefully we'll be up at the summits.
This was Alfred Wainwright's favourite mountain. It's easy to see why. Stunning 360s. I'm going to show you more when we get you to the top. You can see as far out there, Scotland over the Irish Sea there. Gonna take a second, have a tactical breather. Pushed up there a rate of knots. The longer legged you are, the easier it will be. And we will be going back down this route as well, won't we? Yes, yep. So we made it to the summit of Haystacks, which we will claim momentarily. Oh, two. Two, the, the, yes, the two summits. And this is in an eight town. Yep, this is where Alfred Wainwright's ashes are scattered. His favourite place. What a place. Absolutely beautiful. At 597 meters, this, this is Haystacks. Haystacks. It's got a twin summit, which we think is just over that way. Down in between, in on eight time. You can see where we started our adventures from as well, and where we'll be back heading heading back down to shortly. Bruise my bum. Bruise my bum. We've got a bruised bum and a sore finger, but we're just slowly making our way down now into the valley again, and then we'll bring you back when we get a bit closer to the bottom. That was no pun intended. Working our way down Scarf Gap Pass at the moment. It's a bit of a sort of stone path yeah. and paved. Uh, and it's very well defined with lots of cans and things down the way. Yeah. Um, obviously on a clear day, easy peasy. Even on a, a more tricky day, should be easily negotiable. Um, this is actually an old area of mining. Yeah. Just behind me over this shoulder here is an old copper mine. Low wax knot copper mine, actually. Just coming through the gap in the wall now as we head back down onto hopefully a bit of a better path. I say a better path, this has been a good path, but it is just starting to feel on the old feedy weedies. Just alongside Buttermere here. Yeah. Uh, we're returning back towards where we started the day. Obviously, we didn't come this way this morning, so we're getting a little bonus uh, Buttermere footage behind us. Very nice. Um, it's been an absolutely spectacular day. We started our walk at 8 a.m. this morning. It's now somewhere around four o'clock. Yeah, I think it's going to be about seven hours, 45 or something like that by the time we finish the whole, the whole thing. Just shy of eight hours walking yeah, today. Yeah, um, but we have been very leisurely. It's been about I think it was about eight and a bit miles, I think. Eight and a bit miles. Yeah. And five Wainwrights. Thank you very much for joining us. Yes. Really appreciate it. Really help us out if you hit that like button. Drop us a little comment down below if you've Ding got dong. any questions. And please, if you haven't already, consider subscribing Boom. and clicking that bell notification. Ding really helps us out and we appreciate it so much. Um, until our next adventure, stay safe and well. Keep enjoying those green spaces. Take care. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye.